Hey guys, it's LC and I'm back with another video, this time about Safari and Erica Mena. Well, for the past couple of days, they've kind of been in the blogs about, um, I guess, Safari being a Debbie dad. He petitioned to the court to lower his child support payments to Erica Mena um, and basically they the internet has ran with this narrative that he's a deadbeat dad and then um after that Eric Mena released like a calendar highlighting her days and highlighting the days that Safari has visited their two children and you know she wrote you know this caption you can pause it to read what it say they're basically saying that that what days he has seen the kids and what days he hasn't so he ended up making a youtube video because he also has a youtube channel he made a youtube video about their situation and he said that um the court ended up changing because they moved states from Georgia to Florida. And that's why the petition about lowering the child support has changed. But basically, he went on to say that he's been quiet all this time and he wants to speak his truth now. And he goes on to like write, uh, make this video about 30 minutes and he released some images where Erica Mena, um, was abusive to him and uh tearing up some stuff in his house and um he also just walked around and he uh talked about like basically how he had the kids for the summer and he went to put them in camp and she was mad about that and he just shared some images with that so after that um he released his video she went online and just these little rants and stuff and you can pause to see but basically she's saying that the images are old and they're from 2023 and that what about in 2024 that safari was supposedly trying to connect back with her and get his family back and begging erica mena to fix their family some of the images that uh videos that safari released are kind of disturbing just her kind of attacking him her throwing it's well not even the attacking part is the most serious it's the throwing the glass and different objects around while your children are right there and then it was this one video where she like has a ladder and she's climbing over his fence allegedly and tapping or knocking on his door i don't know if she's talking to him or talking to someone but like mommy's in her chanclas and she's in a bra and <laughs> some shorts and she tapped over this gate and took off down their pathway or his pathway and um she appears to be knocking on his door and it i don't know if she tried to explain it at first she said she was going to wait for attorneys to her attorney and court to tell her side but she kind of went on this little rant and we could rewind and read what she said as it keeps repeating kind of like each message is the same thing it's more of like those videos are old and you were just trying to get your family back and begging me just like a couple of months ago in may doing this and that so you guys let's talk about it in the comments below this is the video that Safari posted on his YouTube page. You can go check it out over there if you want. And then after this video from Safari, I, Safari, I have Erica Mena's live from earlier today, uh, 13 hours ago, from me making this video. So um, it was after the calendar release, but before Safari's YouTube release. And it didn't really make the blogs, but I added it in there just so you can kind of get some little pretext of what's going on with them. So let's talk about it below and I'm out. I'll see you in my next video. So in my mentions this morning, I've come across a few comments stating, I don't
don't feel sorry for her. She chose him. Why would you feel sorry for me? Since I've gotten on the scene in my late teens, I've been able to make a name for myself. And it's not because of who I dated or any type of affiliation. It's because of me, whether I've made mistakes, not knowing any better at the time, or whether I've accomplished things. Like everything that is under Erica Mena came from me. Literally from me. And I gotta say, I've come a long way. Like music videos, like that era, you know, reality TV. Now I'm doing movies. Like I've been able to do the damn thing. And I'm about to have my own show. That all came from me. Don't feel sorry for me. I've been doing very well. No need to feel sorry for me. Now, if you want to feel the embarrassment that I might be feeling because I'm a human. And if you're human, I'm sure, you know, you can kind of understand where I'm going with that. Then, yeah, that's one thing. You know, I'm human. There's moments where we are embarrassed. If anything, be embarrassed with me because shit. <laughs> Look what I've been dealing with. And there's so much that honestly the world doesn't even know. But anyway, back to the comment. I chose him. Do y'all forget I was chased for three years. And I wasn't budging. Like, mofo had to go through my friends and my family just to get me to reply text let alone give him any type of chance and then when I did so then the chance was finally given and behind closed doors when I finally started to get this chance this individual was actually doing this whole PR rant claiming he wanted to be married and have kids so I was seeing the outside actions he was projecting and then I was engaging in the chance I was giving and he, boy did he come hard so it kind of matched you know and I was like you know what anywho the chance was given and life took its course before you knew it he was popping the question and because this person went so hard it was like hard not to believe you know anywho this is another comment that I kind of have to address. Well, you gave him a second baby. Okay. Let me get on that one. So I absolutely have to speak on this whole you gave him a second baby thing. Let's just state facts real quick. With King, my firstborn son, I had no idea I was pregnant until five months. I was getting my period, no symptoms at all. And yeah. Five months pregnant had no idea years later I get pregnant with legend now granted yes me and him were having issues you know after me having sapphire but we were still married and we were still going through that roller coaster of trying to fix our marriage so with that process comes makeup sex a lot anywho um I went for my yearly checkup with dr. Jackie and boy can she vouch for this because I still to this day have this video um, I went for my annual checkup and I was flat, no, no stomach, no symptoms. I was, I actually just finished my period and I go for my, so I go for my checkup, Dr. Jackie, pulling you in for this one. Cause this was actually a, a, a very memorable day. I'm sure for both of us. Anywho, she walks in, um, because I definitely peed in that cup, which came up positive, obviously, for pregnancy. Behind her comes this monitor to uh, check my belly. And I was thrown off. But anywho, she asks me if I wanted to know the good news or the bad news. And of course, I wanted the good news. And that's when she broke it to me. You're pregnant. And you're months and months and months pregnant. No way. I just had my period. Boy, did she put that monitor on my stomach and legend was there, full face, hand. I still have the video. He was grown. So to clarify me hiding pregnancy, when I found out, a week later he found out. So it wasn't hiding. So yeah, I didn't go all that time. 
deciding that I was pregnant on purpose. I didn't even know I was pregnant. Literally had no idea. So as far as me giving him a second baby, no, God gave me a second baby, which actually is my third baby. And um, God does everything for a reason. So to be scrutinized for how things happen in my life, especially the blessing of having children, is pretty kind of weak. But I mean, you guys scrutinize me every day, calling me bitter because I call things out. But it's not even like I call these things out. You guys seen this individual literally dance his life away in Jamaica while his last born was in the ICU. Sorry, NICU. Ooh, God. NICU. The label came from his own actions. I didn't have to speak on it. You got So yeah, and let's also, you know, let's keep it funky. I didn't give the DB name. You guys did. <laughs> I mean, you guys saw it all play out for yourselves on TV. You know, like he didn't hide it. Um you guys labeled it and it, it was fitting so you know I just went along with it because it's the truth but anyway don't feel sorry for me I made it through postpartum heartbreak and you know all he has to do is go to the school and pick them up never has to make contact with me but chooses not to because apparently the school he helped me picked out by the way is too far for him to, to come drive. Mind you, everything in Florida is about 30 minutes away, but that's too far. But anyway, that's a whole nother topic. So yeah, I just wanted to clarify a quick clarification of those things. Um, yeah, I can't complain though, honestly. Us us women, we get we, we, we make it work, man. <laughs> if I ain't got childcare, those, those kids are definitely on set with me. And if you follow me, you know I don't, I don't, I don't play. If I gotta have my kids on set shooting movies with me, they are with me. Like nothing has stopped this motion. Could it be easier if this individual chimed in and just took his weekly parenting time days? Of course. But you know, whether it does or doesn't, the world is still gonna go around while he, you know, dances and um you know takes care of another man's children by lacing them with rolexes and <laughs> but misses out on because i know this individual so well i guess apparently now they have like a youtube or something how much you want to bet it's gonna try to do a whole youtube <laughs> give his pathetic reasons on why and if and doubt and cuz and with his mama rooting for him in the back I have a feeling that's why these antics are kind of partaking right now as we speak just saying and when this does happen just be like Erica was right Research 